Okay, uh, apparently I'm live. Um, just one thing uh, right now. Uh, by the way, I'm magic. Maybe I should mention that when we're playing drunken robot pornography. Uh, don't worry, no pornography in here. So, no banned stream or something. Um, yeah, one thing ahead. Uh, apparently my mic clips if I talk too loud, so please tell me if it does. So I'm gonna calm down and uh, be a little quieter so we don't have that. Uh, yeah, apparently I'm already too loud, so I'm gonna be even quieter. Um, yeah, that's what I meant. I was already too loud, so I'm gonna be as quiet as I can. Um, yeah, nothing else for me, so I'm gonna say if you're ready on time, I'm gonna start in uh, three, two, one, now. Um, so yeah, no pornography for you, unfortunately. I'm, I'm really sorry. Um, what will we have instead? We will have a little indie shooter where we go through 52 individual, yeah, kind of arenas, just like this, where we just shoot stuff, and that's it. I mean, of course, the first ones are gonna be really quick, and later ones are gonna take a bit, a bit, a bit longer. Um, but yeah, that's what we do. We shoot uh, two types of things, if you want to call it that. Uh, we got small drones that are basically one hit. And we have big titans. Uh, the way we kill titans, such as this thing right there, we just shoot all of its parts from the outside to the inside uh, until we get reach the core and then shoot the core and then it's dead. Um, yeah, that's basically it for now. Um, I have infinite ammo, but uh, my sh um, yeah my weapon upgrades have limited shots. So you can see that on the left, I have uh, two of the four available upgrades, or had them at the end of the level. They reset after every level. Um, the triple shot and I think the rapid fire were the two that I had. Um, yeah, should be relatively self-explanatory. The other two are Split Fire, which is kind of like the triple, but it's only two and they're way wider from each other, the two shots. And the Heavy Fire that just increases my damage. And yeah, you always get them for a limited amount of shots. You got mail. Um, the goal in those levels is different. Uh, there are two types of goals, either destroy all the titans or like in the last level, and also this one, um, reach a set amount of points. The way we reach points is by destroying stuff, such as drones or titans, but we won't destroy the titan here because that's slow, uh, or sometimes collect stuff, such as the drinks that we got on the last level, or uh, these green thingies here. Um, they give us 1000 points each. Um, for that reason, this level is the most random in the entire run. Because, yeah, those green thingies can drop anywhere. And you kind of have to look where they are. Um, and yes, we will hear the you've got mail after every single level. But don't worry, only like 45 times left or so. Story-wise, uh, what is even going on? Um, we play as Ruben. Ruben was a bar owner in some futuristic... Oh, nearly dropped down there. Um, futuristic world. Uh, it's kind of a dystopia. And, um, yeah, the technology is very highly advanced, though. So we had a couple of robots that helped us with our daily duties. And... Um, the most important one of them is Tim. Tim was our bartender, and uh, yeah, at some point, Ruben decided to invest a little bit to give his nice bartender um, sentence. So yeah, he could he had emotions suddenly, and uh, the bartender he was, he just got told by everyone who ordered drinks there how bad the whole world was. Until Tim, at some point, got depressions and um, yeah, decided that the world is so bad, the best thing would be to completely destroy everything. 
So right now we are responsible to stop our ex-bartender robot from destroying the entire world. And for that we... Yeah, we destroy everything that he throws at us. Uh, basically the titans are other robots, um, just like himself. For instance, the other, I think like 12 robots he took with him from our own household. And um, yeah, that that's basically the story. Our own assistance is for suit, which is called suit. And um, yeah, he also can speak and he does that sometimes. A bit of clipping, okay. Yeah, thanks for letting me know. I'm, I'm, I'm trying. Now, this is kind of the most common type of level where you just um, have to get a set amount of points by destroying some drones and collecting some stuff until then the titans spawn and you gotta destroy them. Most of the levels are really straightforward. Um, Especially in the beginning, it, you don't need that much of the strategy, you just run around and shoot things. Um, later, that's gonna be a little bit more difficult. But not now. But do you have mail? Yes, I have four messages, and we are not gonna read them. Oh, that's not where I wanna go. There was a loud click when I unmuted. Uh, that was more likely my chair. My chair makes weird noises. I mean, I didn't mute myself. Maybe it was something different. But my chair is often at fault. Oops. About most of these levels, there's not really much I can say at all, because I'm just, you know, I'm flying around and I'm shooting stuff. This is a little annoying level, even though not too hard, but the things that you gotta destroy are just so far split up, it's really hard to kill them. Most about the routing in this game is just, yeah, tr trying out which sources give you the most points as quickly as possible, um, as well as what upgrades will you need to kill the titans. Um, because there's another triple fire that I could get here, but getting it is slower than the time that I save, because it also dies very quickly if I just go like this. So this is kind of the first level that's a little more interesting. Well, not really, but where a little routing went on. Say, but because um, these drinks respawn, and you had to think a bit more about when to get which of them, and um, how many enemies to kill in which order. Because generally, it doesn't matter how much you kill, and uh, they will just keep spawning. But if you let too many of them spawn, you will get quite a bit of lag here. So I'm throwing the, the little kill section in there. And now I'm just gonna mow down everything I see. And hopefully not fly into them, that is uh, one of the main things I gotta watch out for not fly into things, because then I don't get the kill. This is probably the easiest level, because all you gotta do is destroy this, well not counting the first two, to be fair, but all you gotta do is destroy this very weak titan, and that's it. Triple fire. 
Okay. So a good thing about this game, uh, in terms of speedrunning, is definitely that uh, spawns aren't random. So, if I would run this game for a little longer than I do, um, then I could potentially know every spawn that happens. But ultimately, that gives you so little advantage over just looking for stuff to destroy. Wherever you go. This is kind of the first bigger titan that we face. Um, yeah, he's not that bad though. He will have so much more annoying times to kill later on. But yeah, you will you will heal me swear then and you'll know this is an annoying one. Oops, that's not good. Uh, the most difficult part about this run actually is the multitasking between shooting stuff and uh, yeah the movement because you have constant three-dimensional movement as well as yeah shooting stuff if possible all the time yeah gotta get down The fastest way to kill titans is always to really shoot every single piece from the outside, but as some of the titans have very small pieces, that would be kind of annoying. So you can just go for your yeah, inner pieces, um, but they would take a lot of shots if there are others that are on the outside, basically. That game looks cool as fuck. Um, it is, and it is a lot harder than it looks, to be honest. Um, it's not one of the hardest speedruns ever, that's not what I'm trying to say. But, I mean, I'm playing this on easy. And, uh, yeah, if you play this on higher difficulties, there are some levels that just kill you so quickly. So this is really a nice game for just when you're bored in for an evening. Or maybe two if you want to play high difficulty. You think this run is cozy, okay. Um it's not for me, that much I can tell you. There's barely any other run that I do that requires as much concentration as this one. Even though it might not look like it, and it might look very clumsy what I do. It's just so much that you have to watch out for. And so much that's actually hard to see because everything's exploding. And... Ah, oh, I didn't get all of the parts on the top, that's bad. You got me. Yeah, that went kinda bad, but whatever. So maybe, uh, as I'm saying that the movement is kinda difficult, how does it actually work? Um, I have a jetpack that I can use mid-air, that's the blue bar next to my crosshair. And um, I can also jump off things. I think that was loud, sorry if that clip. Um, so I can jump off things, which I really want to do if I want to get high. Um, but... Uh, yeah, mostly it is pressing the jetpack in the correct interval to get as much height out of it as possible. Oh, 
Oops, don't want to fall down now. This level was when I first realized that uh, shooting projectiles shot at you actually gives you points as well. Um, because if you don't utilize that and destroy those shots fired from those enemies, um, you're gonna have a hard time beating this level. So I'm intentionally dropping down there because there are a lot of enemies down there. That won't come up. Alright. Kinda slow, but fine. And we've still got mail. It's really tempting there to just go straight, but it's better to go back real quick. These right here are really annoying because they create so many explosions that it's really hard to see whether you actually killed them or not. Okay, I got this one. I saw that. And now I had to make this jump finally. Not bump into something. This run on other difficulties would really be a lot different. Because here, on the easiest one, I don't really have to care about taking damage for the most part. And as said, on higher difficulties, that's gonna be quite different. I haven't actually done a run yet. Um, the other run of this game said he wanted to do it. I don't know if he did. So as, a, as you might have guessed, this is not really a well-known game, so we're only two runners for now. So if anyone's interested... You know where to go. Um, oh, I, I kind of thought this was a different level. That's another kind of hard part here. There's just 50 levels and a lot of them kind of look alike. And you kind of have to tell them apart somehow. And I didn't play this level well at all. Uh, I wasted too many shots, so I'd have to refill right there. Uh, damage boost you get from those upgrades is just uh, too significant. Uh, same people made Tower of Guns, I have absolutely no idea. I can only say that I did not like Tower of Guns. But, no, I don't know if that's the same people. In this level it might be interesting to have a look at the red bar right from my cost bar, uh, crosshair. That's my health. And, uh, I mean, I'm over it now. But these kind of black, orange fields, they're constantly deal damage while you're in them. There's I have the best chance to kill you in the whole run. Not the ones in this level, necessarily. But we'll have this attacks later on as well. This is one of the more annoying levels. Um, I think this took more time routing than any other level here. Uh, you can't really say that rounding this game was hard, not at all, uh, but for some levels it's just... I mean, you have a huge arena and your only objective is to kind of kill everything. So you have quite a lot of freedom on what and in what order you want to do it. For instance, uh, this is the first time we see the smart bomb. and. Um, uh, didn't want to fall down there. 
it took me quite some time to figure out where to most effectively use it. Falling down there was not part of the route, by the way. You might have guessed. Um, so about the smart bomb does is basically just it deals a lot of damage in the direction you look. So I lined up uh, the two titans there to both nearly destroy them with the one bomb. So now like the bar only we are, we gotta collect some alcohol. Um, <laughs> yeah, this is a little weird. But the way this works is uh, the more you deliver it once, the more each individual uh, bottle gives, the more points. Uh, but if you're hit, you lose quite a few. <laughs> and yeah, I, I was nearly done and then I got hit, so I gotta go for another round. I really rarely get hit here. So it's really unfortunate, but what can you do? Alcohol. Alcohol! Oh shit, I need one more, that's not good. Don't get hit, please. Okay, we should be good. So yeah, you want to deliver all 18 at once here. You've got mail. And a uh, second alcohol round. Yeah, triple and split shot uh, makes a split up six times shot thingy, so everything stacks. Dodging this is really easy. Yeah, and that's the one thing you don't want him to do. Just lasering down when you're underneath him. So, a little extra round, or maybe two here as well. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't really know. You rarely get hit here, and I got hit three times now in the levels combined. So yeah, I didn't really route around this, usually you're just lucky. I'll need one more, and we should be fine now because we're quite far away from anything. And those cannons cannot fire below their own level. So you just stay down, you're fine. And we're done with the alcohol. This level is rather boring. You have to wait. Quite a long time for stuff to spawn and yeah. Now we won't get over there because there's gonna spawn another upgrade. Exactly this one. Might as well wait, this is still the very easy part of the game. Yeah, this, this game is, if not anything else, it's definitely different, and it's a lot of fun. Except for maybe this level here, but yeah, you will see. We got a, the most annoying titan, possibly. Well, not. Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna stick with this. To me, this is the most annoying titan to kill in the whole game. As a result, this can be quite the wrong killer if you take too long killing him. So yeah, basically he has those 
tentacle thingies and each of those has three layers from the outside. Um, so yeah, I got one down by now. This is gonna take a while. Even though it's kinda going well for now, but I don't have a triple shot, so I go all the way around here. This always looks really slow, but it's three times as much damage, so it's actually worth it. Uh, right here, okay. Try not to die. At least that's usually not an issue, at least. In this level. Okay, that was... You might not have guessed it, but it was actually kind of quick. <laughs> and right here I pressed the uh, spacebar too early, that's a really common mistake you can do. Because then as you spawn, you immediately activate your um, jetpack. And you don't want that, you want to jump off first, so you get the height you need. Okay, got all the upgrades. I'm gonna try to stand on top of this guy in order to kill him. Oops, not get knocked down by him. Yeah, okay. That hurt. So I'm gonna play it a little more carefully. You don't really have good signs of being at low health. It's just that red bar. That's pretty small. And the voice telling you once that you're low on health. It's really hard to look in a chat right now. Um, now we have some time actually. Uh, oh yeah, I said it in the introduction. There's no porn in this game. I don't really know how they came up with this name. Probably just... Hey look, we put pornography in the title. Now buy our game or some shit. I oh, know I have heavy. Split is the one I want. No, I'm losing time. Losing time this level is uh, really a thing to be ashamed of. You have so much time in between Titan spawns that yeah, you can easily pick up all the stuff you need ah, and not do this. get that bomb real quick. <laughs> and then you go on the last guy that spawns. <laughs> it's not the last guy that spawns. This is the last guy that spawns, even though his smart bomb is not very effective against him. Um, because just as my shots, it will only really be able to damage the outermost parts of the Titan. And depending on the structure of the Titan, it can't really deal that much damage. 
but that's still a lot better than nothing. I hate this part, by the way, just this beginning of the level. <laughs> because those jumps are so annoying and they feel so, so slow and bad. But there's nothing you can do. Nah. You can make that one. I didn't. So now off to destroying the stuff. And now off to destroying some Titans. Ooh. Okay, got him at least. Or fell down. Sometimes if you try and do it too quickly and just, you know, move backwards while still shooting stuff, that will just happen. If you're bad, that is. That's why I think uh, the movement and shooting at the same time is the hard part about this run. And, well, depending on what Titan you fight, uh, it's also the amount of explosions, so you can't see shit anymore. You've got mail. Uh, this level is kinda not interesting. Um, because they do that. Now they're invincible for a set amount of time. And also, in the final Titan has the set time he cannot spawn before. I'm actually dropping really low in health. Something that should not happen. Oops, he's not dead yet. Now he's dead. So now, now we gotta wait. You expected a lot more generic shooters. Well, I mean, this is the how many? I think the sixth so shots fired. We pro probably have seen a lot of things. I'm getting a bit more diversity in. Why not? You've got mail. Okay, time to land now. The only reason I want to do this thing from below really is that it is way easier to see which uh, parts of it are actually not destroyed yet through the explosions. This level is also not very interesting because at the uh, 
the set time there will be a smart bomb spawner and um, yeah we will just use that and then the game will uh, the level will end so there's not really room to gain or lose time here can already make my way up here even though it's it's a couple seconds left until it spawns whatever okay there it is And that's it. You got mail. This level's quite different and it took me on the first playthrough a lot of time to realize what I was actually supposed to do. So those things marked with arrows are ouch. I didn't manage to hit the launch pad in time. Um yeah, those are actually points that you need to capture. And uh, if you mess the timing up once here, this level's pretty dangerous. But hey, I'll keep taking damage, because why not? Uh, I deployed a decoy there. That probably saved my life. Uh, decoys are just little images of myself and every enemy is gonna fly into them and die as they touch it. In I think only one level it is really used to actively kill stuff. But yeah, it's quite useful for that. Um, I missed out on a triple fire on top. I don't really know how I managed to do that, but I kinda did. Ah, that was pretty slow. Oh yeah, this game fires a lot of shots. That is true for sure. So remember this guy, this was one of the the first real titan, I called him. Um he is actually one of our robots, I think. I don't really know what he was. Maybe the vacuum cleaner or something. Ah, can you see stuff? I can't. Mm, that was not the smartest route. Actually, maybe I should have just left the heavy fire be the heavy fire. Ah, but then again, I yeah, probably was faster to get it. I'm not entirely sure about these timing things for every level yet. Okay, I've got really low in health, apparently. Because of something. Mm, not get hit by lasers. Uh, I keep doing the same mistake in this level every time. I want to go for the split shot straight up, but if you do that, you run into the whole horde of enemies. And that's what you not don't want to do for sure, because then they die and you don't get the points. And you also take damage, but that's actually the lesser problem. 
Yeah, that's a pretty useful decoy. Another one of those just get points levels. Um, I keep doing that, I don't know. Every time I run into those enemies. And really here it's not worth going for too many of the cocktails because there are just so many green thingies dropped. They get just as many points. This one was definitely the level with the second most routing. Maybe this even wins and not the other level, I'm not entirely sure. There's a pretty set path you should do here. Uh, quite a lot of enemies hit me there, that's not good. Oh, and me falling down this tube is also not good. So I messed quite a bit with my route. So yeah, that was pretty bad. I still like the level for just being some somewhat route worthy and not just running around and shooting stuff. Okay, right there, I was waiting for the martini to spawn because it gives me points. And uh, now I got this one, gonna get some of those upgrades. Going back to the beginning because another martini is gonna spawn here. Give me another thousand points, and then the Titan will spawn. There's a lot more strategy, as I said, in those later levels here. Because for the early ones, it just doesn't make sense to go for strategy. You just run around and shoot, and yeah. Okay, what I'm doing right now is pretty risky, but it worked. Um, because I might have fallen down there if I did manage to kill him fast enough and that would have cost me a lot of time. More enemies. <laughs> yeah, you could clearly see my tactics there because it didn't look like we were flashbanged at all. So, this level we actually had already. Uh, yes. Arena of the, I don't know, third, fourth level, something like that. But a lot more annoying this time. Yeah, because this Titan goes invincible as well. And he does that for quite a long time. I've also seen this enemy. So I kinda suppose that's one of our robots as well. Out of 
Ah, okay, fallen down there. It doesn't cost me too much time. He was in the process of spawning anyways. Um, I'm gonna use this to launch me up. Okay, that was close, but it worked. You got mail. You really want just something to launch you up. Because, yeah, your jetpack can't hold on for that long. This game is hectic. Yes. Yes, it is. Do I know what I'm shooting at? Um, well, depend, depends on what exactly you mean with that. I know that I'm shooting on little drones that were created by the titans, like this one. And, well, yeah, the titans themselves, which are just normal robots amplified and rebuilt by Tim, our nice bartender in order to destroy us or something and then the whole world after that of course so uh, that's what I meant uh, I wasn't actually joking with the you know the um, vacuum cleaner stuff one of the things that we already fought was actually our vacuum cleaner, if I remember correctly. That was just modified a tiny bit. Uh, I can actually die in this, yes. Um, sorry for being so slow reading the chat, it's... As somebody said, this game is hectic. Um, so I can die, and if there's... Okay, so this is probably the second likeliest level for me to die in. Right there I'm just using the decoy, and they're all just flying into it and dying. And I actually get the points for that, that's the important part. I'm gonna get myself another decoy for safety reasons. Not for killing reasons. It's not even the last Titan that I'm afraid of, it's actually those two. Um, just because they create a lot of these bubbles. And I said that already, um, those are the likeliest thing to kill you. Because whenever you're just somewhere in that black-orange area, uh, you take damage. And that last thing is actually quite strong, but we had all the upgrades, so we're good. Um. <laughs> I shoot enemies and they explode, yes. I don't necessarily shoot explosions, but not only the entire enemy explodes, that, that's the point here. Um, I destroy them from the outside to the core and also just the very outmost parts of the enemies explode when I shoot them. So yeah, the outer parts explode and I just keep shooting that. 
uh, and hope that I somehow hit things that are in the light. I'm really glad that they at least have some kind of marker for smaller titans. Um, you can see that's just yeah, some kind of red bubble that indicates where they are. That was another invincibility. That's why I stopped shooting, by the way. Was that because of me clipping? I'm sorry if that is the case. Maybe some smart man here has an idea for me for why when I'm using OBS Studio I get these horrible clipping issues. While I never have that when I use, well, Discord, TeamSpeak or even classic OBS. That all works. Because yeah. I only use that for marathons that use Mixer, because you can't set that up in OBS Classic. So that's why I'm stuck with some issues. Sorry for that. Spikes from certain letters. Yeah, probably hard letters, right? I was told that whenever I say okay rather loud, then it happens, for instance. Yeah, I, I just don't know what I can do about it. I'm sorry. But it's good that you will let me know. So I can just speak more quietly again. Oh, this is one of the more annoying titans once more. Just because he has stuff on the top and um, you can't really get high enough to see on top of it. So you kind of have to get it from the side and you don't really know if you got it all. And Sometimes that can't be bad. Well, if it's all good, then all good. I don't really know why, but this Titan disturbs me. Because he has like five arms or what? And he swings them with him when he turns. I think that looks just really weird. We have quite tanky uh, titans here. They just consist of so many small parts. This one's even worse. And uh, yeah, the small pumps help a lot. Oh, baby triple. I'm not gonna shout anything. Um, this level casually was horrible, in my opinion, and just because. It's really hard to see if you don't know the level which of these high thingies 
um, you will fall through, and which not. So yeah, I would fall down so often in this one. We're actually closing in uh, to the end of the run. Um, this is unfortunately the only level where we get to see the Orbital Friendship Cannon. It's that thing up there. It's awesome. It's, yeah, it's pretty much the smart bomb in awesome. I mean, you barely get it. Uh, I think there's one or two other levels where you could also get it. But um, you get it at the very end of the level, when I'm already done with it. Those spawns are timing based, uh, timer based, I have to say. Okay, that thing is destroyed. While this one has an insanely high invincibility time. And this guy's gonna feel the Orbital Friendship Cannon, which is just... It's beautiful. I mean, not that you can see too much of it, but it's a rainbow, I guess. You've got mail. <laughs> yeah, I'm actually constantly blinded by the explosions, that is correct. And it's really annoying to deal with. I'm not gonna lie. And it takes some time to get used to it. Actually, I've barely been falling down this run. This is exceptionally good, I might say. So, a few more stations to capture. goal is to destroy that one before you capture this completely, which I managed to do. And now we have to balance on this small ring here, which is also not too cool if you are uh, blind. Getting that heavy is worth it, because there's another titan after this one. Now I can't see shit and have to hope that I kinda land on the small ring there. No! Oh, I won't make it for a fall down. Damn it. You got mail. Uh, yes, you definitely hold mouse button down for the entire game. So this is the last level already, and this is Tim. He modified himself quite a bit as well. And this level is really unique uh, in terms of... Well, the enemy titan that we're killing here is the entire level. Um, uh, I wanted that triple fire, but what can I do? And if I fall down, I don't respawn, I actually die and have to restart the level. Like this one, I'm not really sure why I fell down. Uh, demonstration, I mean. Just demonstration, you know? Um, so let's start that over. So yeah, I have to destroy the whole thing without falling down before everything's destroyed. And this is not easy. Come on, spawn. Wanna go down? Okay. Getting the triple. Okay, now I'm gonna get up to safe spots. 
So I'm basically from now on gonna try to stay on top of the core of this whole thing so that I can't really fall down. Those arms are kind of dangerous as well. Uh, better to take a step back than to die. Okay, this is already hugely damaged, that's good. All that's left is to jump around here a little. Uh, she should get ready on time. Unless I do something really stupid. Because I was scared, because of marathon reasons, uh, time. <laughs> Actually, it's time now. Um, because I was scared, because of marathon reasons, I did that very slowly. And there were a lot of things on the bottom that I left out. So that was a very slow last level. But, um, yeah, overall. I think I know what went wrong. Overall, I think it was an okay time. I had time running for myself. This should be just barely above one hour. Probably. Yeah. So bad to attack a city I'm fine with this. Robots. That's ultimately on me. I hope you enjoyed it, even though it's not that much of a variety in the run. But it sure is a lot of action. Yeah. And a lot of lights yeah. and explosions. And it's it's burning. It's burning. To be fair, Ruben. So, I hope you enjoyed the, the outro is not really interesting. I'm just gonna skip it. We've got mail for one last time, and yeah. Thanks for watching. See you sometime. Bye.